That is my name on Hong Kong jury duty paperwork. No, it's not clickbait. We're in Hong Kong. and I'm gonna tell you how this came to be. It has been a year in the process. So, well, let me, let me tell you the truth, I guess. Uh, spoiler alert, I live in Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, a lot has changed. This is a big update. Okay, uh, we're, gonna go, we're gonna go catch a ferry to the other side. We need to go, we need to go over there. Wow, look at this waterfront. Holy cow. All the buildings are lit up on the other side. How cool is that? You have a combination of new boats, old boats. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have, I have so much to learn about this city in the next, I don't know, few years. Okay, but we're heading that way to go catch the Star Ferry. Because we do want to end up over there. Look at this ship. It's called Aqualuna. And uh, it's like a big Asian pirate ship. But you do dinners and so on on it. Yeah, maybe we should do a night on board that. Okay, at the end we're gonna have you leave comments down below of what I should do while I'm in Hong Kong. But I think that's been added to the list. We're going to Central. If you're wondering how I could just abandon Canada to move to Hong Kong, obviously it all comes down to a girl. Nicole and I started dating about eight years ago, before I started doing YouTube. If you've been to Hong Kong, you know the Star Ferry. What a classic. <laughs> Semi-chaotic. What a nice way to travel in Hong Kong. It's a calm, peaceful night like this. Why wouldn't you want to be on the water? Star Ferry, great way to travel, even great for kids. It only costs like a dollar, so it's a good call. Okay, I think we're here. Of course, when you've gone one way, you shift it to go the other way. Brilliant. So anyway, back to Nicole. You may recognize her from the UK Canal series. That's when she was in it the most. Otherwise, she tries to avoid being in the YouTube videos at all. So we met and started dating before I was a YouTuber and we've been together ever since, living together for the last six years, I think. Oh yeah, baby, double-decker trams. And through that whole period, I was starting my YouTube channel. Again, I started it after I was dating Nicole and she may have thought it was just a phase at first, but once she realized it was full-time, she was incredibly supportive. I'll be honest, there were a couple of months where I couldn't afford rent. Not a problem. She covered it. She had the safe corporate job. Anyway, this isn't meant to be a romantic flashback. There is a point to this. You see, I'm from Vancouver. Born and raised, family and friends there. Lived six blocks away from my sister. Loved it. Nicole's from Toronto. We met in Vancouver and she'd been there for a while and was just getting a little antsy and looking for a change. Wow, look at the dragon. So when Nicole asked if she applied for a job somewhere else, if I'd come with her, the answer was of course. And so that's exactly what happened. She started looking for a new job within the company she was already at. Luckily for her, they have offices all over the world apparently. And so she applied for a promotion type of like a role above hers in Hong Kong. And so this is where the legal complexities and love get intertwang twangle intertwangled intertangled. Because we'd been living together in Vancouver for so long, we were already technically common law, which means in our government, in their eyes, we're already married. Whereas legally in Hong Kong, common law isn't a thing. You had to be married or not. So if I were to come to Hong Kong with Nicole, we had to be married. So we went and got married. But before I show you our wedding, I need to thank the sponsor of today's video. <laughs> we got to do it. So if I'm in Hong Kong, what's the same? Well, essentially everything's the same. We even still have the same sponsor we've had for the last two years, True Earth Laundry Eco Strips. It is a certified B corporation, never tested on animals, but it is good for animal clothing if you have like sweaters for your dog or something. This is 32 loads. They are hypoallergenic, paraben free, phosphate free. You can't go wrong with them. They have different scents. Fresh linen, fragrance-free if you're sensitive, or if you want something wild, 
go with Lilac Breeze. I mean, realistically, I take them with me while I'm traveling because they fit into my backpack uh, and I use them at home. Think of this instead of an entire jug of laundry liquid detergent. The packaging is recyclable and because their size is so small, it has a much lesser carbon footprint than the big jugs of liquid detergent. I know, my little Hong Kong apartment doesn't have such a sexy laundry area. It's outdoors. It is what it is but it works. But the best part is that these work in any machine anywhere around the world, whether it's front loading, top loading, hot water, cold water, it just works. Rip it open, you pull out a sheet, rip it in half, one strip is good enough for one load. You can use two strips if it's a big load. Of course, if you wanna try it, they've given us a discount code. So click on the link in the description down below and use discount code DOWNY for 10% off. Thank you True Earth for making an amazing product that I continue to use and for the discount code for us. Ah, it is good stuff. Thank you True Earth. Folks, discount code Downy down below, just try it. So much better for the earth and a lot less of a hassle too. All right, back to the wedding. So yeah, we needed to tie up some legal loose ends. Luckily for Nicole and I, we lived half a block away from City Hall. So we made an appointment and we walked down to City Hall and we signed the paperwork. Mind you, it was still a pretty happy moment. Uh, I want you to know we didn't miss out on anything. Nicole and I really didn't have an interest in spending a lot of money on a big wedding. We'd been together for seven years. We talked a little bit about marriage. We were okay to live our lives not married, but together or get married. It didn't really make a difference. But obviously in this case, it made things a lot easier. So through that, she got a visa to Hong Kong. She got the job. I got a visa as her dependent or like spouse, I guess, and three year visas. And that's when I took my first vacation with Nicole since I started YouTube. All right, I think I know what you're thinking. Mike, isn't your whole life a vacation? You just get to travel around. We've seen Nicole in lots of videos. She comes with you on weekend away trips or even again, back to the canal series. Isn't that a vacation? No, unfortunately, I'm working in those instances. So this was what I mean is an actual vacation. No work for me. I didn't film it, except for these few clips. But Nicole and I went away for an entire month she works from the cabin, whereas I also did a lot more work than I had planned on, if I'm being honest, because uh, there's always work to be done, unfortunately. I'm not good at switching off yet. We'll get there. But what we did do is get to enjoy some really nice time together on a lovely island in Quebec called Les Îles de la Madeleine. I'd love to go back. We had a really good time. I should go back. I don't know if I just want to go back or if I want to, if I just want to take a vacation. <laughs> so how does all of this get us to jury duty? Good question. Let me speed up the time zone here. We moved out of our apartment after getting married and before going on vacation, she went straight from vacation to Hong Kong. I didn't come with her. I actually went to go film the Quad Tandem World Championships, if you remember that. Then I went to Switzerland with my sister and then I went to Zandvoort for the F1 race. Then I came to Hong Kong. All right, I think we're caught up on the Hong Kong part. So I'm sure you're probably wondering, what does this mean for the channel? How is the content going to change? And I can absolutely tell you, nothing will change. Now, how can I be so sure of that? Well, by the fact that I have lived here for six months and there's been no change and nothing is planning on changing, really. I still work with the same team. They're still based out of Vancouver. We just have a lot more time zones between us now. So I guess then the question is, why am I telling you this at all? If nothing's gonna change and you wouldn't have noticed anyways, why bother telling you? Well, the real answer is because it's been kind of a pain for me not to be able to share anything. I always find it a little bit ironic when the YouTube channel name is Downy Live, because it's definitely not live. These are not today's, but normally highly edited videos. And the downy part, yeah, it's me, and it is absolutely me, but the videos aren't about me. They're just, they're about whatever the subject is, about the Quad Tandem World Championships or a Formula One race. I just happen to be the same guy that's in every single video, kind of leading us through the story. I do give my two cents here and there, but the videos aren't about me. 
It's not like a day in my life. And so there was never a need to tell you about a, any particular day in my life or even a video like this about a whole bunch of them all together. But what's happened in the last few years is as the videos have gotten bigger and they've taken longer for us to put together, it means they fall further and further behind from the actual time that they took place. Let me give you an example. If I'm on site somewhere on a Navy ship, which is coming up, I want to post about it. I want to let you know I'm on the Navy ship. I want to show the, share the excitement with you and show you some cool things. But I go, wait, I'll wait until the video comes out and then I'll share it. That video is coming out in March. Get excited. But what happens is that video is coming out while I'm off filming another video and I'm excited about something else. And I don't really have the time to be able to share it on Instagram or anything else. I didn't even post about my wedding or non-wedding, my marriage, on Instagram. And the other reason for that is because I only have one Instagram. I don't have a personal and a business Instagram. It's just Downy Live. It's just me, that's it. I only have the one. So if I'm sharing anything with friends and family, it's also going to you and vice versa. I guess this is me getting really personal, but it felt like that personal side didn't really matter to you. You know, you only care about the big topics, the big titles and thumbnails. Uh, I don't think that's true anymore. And so this is my effort to get caught up, fill you in on everything. And from now on, I will be posting in the moment as things are happening on Instagram. And then the videos will come out when they come out, but there'll be a, a full representation of what that was. So I hope you're okay with understanding. I'm not in two places at once, just some things take time. But if you do want to like get more regular in-depth updates, this is a bit of a plug here, but my members page, if you've subscribed and you click the join button, it's like $5 a month Canadian. So it's gotta be less than that US. Not only do we put the videos up there early. So as soon as a video is finished editing, even though it might not come out it always comes out on Saturday. We put it there so you get to watch it early. It's also really good for when I make a series because you finish episode one and episode two is already there. You can kind of binge a bunch. So that's great. We also put extended cuts or unedited scenes up there. So if there was a part that I thought was really interesting by an expert or something, but it just wouldn't work for the algorithm, we will put it there. But also now I'm doing what I'm calling the Monday morning mic, which will be a lot more like this sit down Monday morning, about five minutes to really bring you up to speed with A, where I actually am in the world and what projects we're working on, uh, what projects we're editing, what projects I'm about to film or I'm there to film. And I wanna also tell you about what we're planning and reaching out and trying to make happen so you can get an idea of like the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes kind of, really what it takes to be running this business. It's a place where I can be a lot more honest and talk like this. So you you should probably join, become a member and get all of that. There's also some other benefits in there, but that's the big stuff. All right, let's keep moving. So all that to say that I'm officially here, have been for six months and I finally got this piece of paper, which essentially proves it. From the registrar of the high court, you are hereby notified that your name will be added to the list of jurors. I should tell you after reading through a lot of this, uh, some of the pages are in Chinese Cantonese, I assume. Um, there is an English section on the back with a, with a list of exceptions and all that, which I do not meet any. So I am officially added to the list of jurors, but not for any particular court case yet. I'm just on the list. One day I might get called to jury duty in Hong Kong. I gotta learn the laws here first, I think. Now in the meantime, we've just had Lunar New Year. And so for the next 15 seconds, I'm going to leave you with shots of the parade and the fireworks. As usual, I'm Mike. I don't know where I'm going next. But I definitely know that I want you there with me. So thank you for sticking with me so far. All right, enjoy. Enjoy the Lunar New Year parade.